Okay, welcome. This is time to start our today's session. Welcome to our, all of our today's attendees uh, on the behalf of Global Education Network. Uh, dear uh, our today's attendees, dear uh, educators, uh, dear leaders, and dear country coordinator and different types of members. Uh, you know that Global Education Network is working for education, for our future generation, for equipped us, for equipped educators, world-class educators. So uh, as the part of these activities, as the part of uh, quality education, SDG uh, activities of SDG 4, we arranging some types of different activities, webinar, session, project, education and culture, different types of modern educational tools, uses of tools of a different types of education. So our today's uh, session is for artificial intelligence. We know that, you know that, this time artificial intelligence is more important for us. After some days, some year, artificial intelligence uh, crop uh, our activities and our educational activities, classroom activities. So now we will start our two-day session. Our two-day session, resource person, speaker or keynote speaker from India. Uh, she is AI STEM ICT evangelist and cyber security expert working passionately to employ effective and innovative instructional practice to overcome fear learning programming language so that a student can easily embrace STEM and become a smart citizen. She is resource person for prestigious Indian government organization like NCRT, SCRT, NIOS, DIET and has written many books, research articles, research paper, and has developed a lot of key content, which is benefiting thousands of students across the globe. She has presented at many international conferences and been invited as a keynote speaker, passionate for music. She has written and sung many songs on social issues as well as jingles and poems on programming to help children overcome their anxiety of learn to code. She's contribution in the field of education backed me many national and international awards, national teachers award by president 2019, facilitated by prime minister, Mr. Modi in 2017, top 50 Global Teacher Prize finalist 2020, dedicated teacher award by Cambridge University, Press UK to name a few. And she's also deputy director of Asia Global Education Network. Dear Benita, please, this is time for you. Please, over to you. Thank you, sir. First of all, I would like to thank you as well as Global Educator Network for inviting me to this platform and share my views on how we can leverage AI to, you know, uh, help teachers, to empower teachers so that they can reduce their burden and they can also empower their students. So today I am going to talk about, you know, we all have heard uh, about generative AI. And I'm going to talk about how generative AI is revolutionizing the landscape, especially the education landscape, and how it can empower students and teachers in countless ways. And, you know, many of the generative AI tools, I hope you might have heard about it also, like Chat GPT, Google Bard, which has now become Google Gemini. They are really helping educators to boost their productivity and defeat their burnouts. So today I'm going to share with you a magical tool. Let me share my presentation first with you. Sir, please give me uh, rights to share my presentation. Okay, okay. You can uh, you can share because you are co-host. Okay. 
Uh, it is saying. Please try now. You can share. Okay. Yes, now I can share. So, uh, uh, one sec. Okay. One sec. I don't know whether I'm able to share. One sec. Uh, let me share again. Hmm. Is my screen visible now? Yes, ma'am, visible. Okay, let me do. Uh, slideshow. Okay. So uh, today I'm going to share with you a, a magical tool, magicschool.ai. Have you, has anyone uh, heard about magicschool.ai before? Yes, please uh, raise your hands if you know about this tool, Magic School. Uh, does anyone know about this tool? Okay. So today I am going to tell you how you can use this wonderful tool magicschool.ai and how this can help you to unlock your classroom magic. You can become magicians with the help of this tool. And uh, uh, let me share you how you can use this tool in the classroom. So this is the homepage of Magic School. On the Google Chrome or any other browser, you can simply write magicschool.ai. Okay, so this is the uh, URL of this uh, wonderful tool www.magicschool.ai and then you have to sign up uh, i have already signed up so i will log in and let me share my screen again so that i can show you the hands-on directly how you can use this tool so i have already opened it here okay so i have already signed up okay let me sign it again so i'm logging in uh, into this tool It's taking some time. Yeah, it is opening now. So this is the homepage of Magic School. So once again, let me tell you, the URL is magicschool.ai. Okay, I will share in the chat window also. You just have to write down Magic School AI in any of the browser and it will uh, take you to this site. Just open this site. Like you have to write like this. Let me show you. So just write down, uh, suppose this is my... A, uh, Google Chrome. So I will write down Magic School AI. If you write like this, the very first link which comes, you have to click on this link and it will open. Then you have to sign up here first. Okay. And after signing up, the next time you can easily log into this tool. So let me show you how, how you can use this tool in your classroom. So on the there are two panels. On the left panel, you can see there are certain tools. And on the top panel also, there are certain, uh, you know, categories. Okay. So let me share with you first all the categories. And then we will come to the left panel to understand what all is present in the left panel. Okay. So uh, the various categories which are present here with the various type of category, they have categorized uh, uh, the various activities which the teachers perform in their day-to-day -day task. Uh, and how this magic school uh, site can be helpful to perform these activities. Okay. So very first uh, is planning. You can see here in planning, uh, there are certain activities. Let me take this here. So these are certain activities like and you can create a lesson plan. You can create unit plan. You can uh, use it for, uh, uh, you know, project based learning. You can use it for uh, uh, generating some group work activity for your students. Then real world connections. You can generate real world examples uh, of your own topic from your subject. Then you can create a 5 e model lesson plan in which you have engage, explore, explain, elaborate and evaluate. I will show you the examples also. Let us first go through what all is present in the tool. Then I will show you how to use this tool. Okay. Then you have multi-step assignments. You can create multi-step assignments. You can create any engaging science lab activity. 
then you can create uh, exemplar and non-exemplar responses also uh, to specific assignment. Then SCL lesson plan can also be generated. Nowadays, SCL is a very, uh, you know, it, is, it has become a buzzword and we really want the well-being of our students and for the well-being of students, social emotional learning plays a big role. So you can generate SCL lesson plans also. And the last one is the syllabus generator. So if you want to create a syllabus for, you know, for a particular class, for a particular subject, this can also be generated. I will give you example of each and every one. Let us first go through what all is present here. Then in the content category, there are certain options which are available. Like you can uh, create, you know, informational text on any particular topic from your subject. Suppose you want to, you know, create information about any particular topic of your subject. So this can be easily generated. Then rubric generator. I hope you uh, uh, you know about rubric. Like whenever we give any assignment to students, it is very important to share rubric also with them so that they can understand what is the expectation of teachers and how they can maximize the uh, uh, they can uh, they can earn the maximum marks in the assignment according to the expectation of teacher. So you do not have to think about it now. It can you can easily generate rubric using the uh, this magic school tool. Then academic content, you can create any type of academic content uh, easily uh, using this tool. And see, uh, if maths teachers are present here, they usually find it very difficult to create story word problems. And this type of problems, uh, you know, they are usually asked in the exams. So now you don't have to worry about it. You simply give uh, your class and your topic and it will create the math story word problems for you. Then next is the choice board. Um, uh, this is according to the principle of universal design for learning. See, uh, if we really want our class to be inclusive, it is very important to give choice boards in the class. And in choice boards, we give, you know, for formative assessment, we do not give one type of assessment for to all these students. Because, you know, all different students sitting in our class, they have different abilities. They have different interests. So that is why we give choice board to these students so that they can choose the uh, activity of their own choice and express their understanding of what they have learned. So this is a very important concept if you really want to, you know, uh, reduce the learning gaps of students in your classroom and make your classroom more engaging. So you can easily, I will show you an example of it also. Then mass spiral review problems you can easily create using this tool. Then vocabulary list generator, you can easily create vocabulary list for your classroom. Then decodable text, again, uh, for science reading, you can easily create. And this is one of the tools which I love most, YouTube Video Summarizer. In this tool, what you can do, you can share a video link, any video link, and it will generate questions based on that video. So this is a very different type of, uh, diff uh, you can create different kind of assessment for your students. You can, uh, you know, uh, use this tool to create vid uh, questions based on any video. And then you can transfer it to Google Forms so that it will become an assignment for, uh, for your students. Then vocabulary-based text and multi-step assignment, text cup folder, these are certain other options which are available. Then the next is questions, which is, you know, very beneficial for teachers because we need to create different kind of assignments for our students. So we can, uh, MCQs, you know, uh, we really need to create MCQs for our students so that they can, uh, this will help them to test their understanding. So you can easily create MCQs. You just need to uh, tell the tell this magic school tool that for which class and for which topic and which subject you want MCQ. It will generate MCQs and it will also generate answers. Then again, YouTube video questions we have already done. Then um, uh, we have uh, text dependent questions and uh, uh, in which uh, 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 you know uh, you will sh you can share a text. Suppose you want to create questions. Uh, based on certain oh, text. Hello, dear ma'am. Please, uh, your slide is not moving. Please. Okay, please but I am I am sharing a screen. Is my screen not shared? Your screen is shared, but your slide is not moving. Just one oh. one slide. So what shall I do now? Uh, second slide. By second slide. It is not a slide, sir. I am showing it directly by the website. It is not a slide. This is not a PowerPoint presentation. Is my presentation shared? We see, we see, we see your oh, PowerPoint presentation. Oh, let me share again. Let me share. Thank you for telling me. I thought I, I have, because I have shared the new screen. Okay, okay. Let me share again. Okay, I'm stop sharing and I'm sharing okay, my screen. No problem, no problem. 
Oh, thank you for telling me. Uh, our uh, a participant tell us. might be hard. They might not be understanding what I'm telling them. Is my screen visible now? Yeah, this is uh, now we see. Uh, uh, okay. Is this magic school screen visible? Yes, yes. Okay, let me tell you again then. See how you have to go to this tool. Go to Google Chrome and type or any other browser. So what in whatever browser you work, just type magic, magic school and AI. So very, the very first link you will get is of magic school only. So you just click on this link and I have already logged in. So it will take me to this site. Otherwise, you have to first sign up. You can see on this tab, go to this tab and then you have to sign up. You can sign up using your Gmail ID or any ID, Microsoft ID, or you can sign up using your email ID and password. So there are various options which are available. And after signing up, you can directly log into this site. And this is your homepage for this. Okay. So on this homepage, let me tell you again. So there are two, uh, 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 there are two panels. One is the left panel. On left panel, there are certain options available. And one is the top panel. On top panel, there are certain categories. They have categorized the work of teachers in certain categories. And uh, they have provided tools so that teachers can use those tools to do that work. The very first work is, the very first category is planning. Okay. I hope now it is visible. The very first category is planning. In planning, you can create lesson plans. You can create unit plans. You can create project-based learning for your students. You can create group work activities. Sometimes it becomes very difficult to, you know, think of a group work activity. So this can be done. Then you can create real world examples for your students. Suppose you are teaching a topic for the very first time and you want to connect that topic to the real world uh, example. So this can also be done. Then 5e lesson plans. Uh, uh, you know, these are uh, really nice lesson plans in which uh, you uh, get activities based on engage, explore, explain, elaborate, and evaluate. So this can be easily generated using this AI tool. Then multi-step assignments you can create. Science lab activities can be easily created. And some exemplar and non-exemplar responses, questions can be easily created. Then SEL lesson plans. I was talking about SEL. So this is for the well-being of students. So you can create SEL lesson plan for your students. Okay. Then we come to the next category, which is content. So content based, uh, there are various tools which are available are you can create informational text on any topic of your subject you can create a rubric i was talking about that rubric is very important whenever you are giving an assignment to your student you should provide your students with rubric also so that they come to know what is the expectation of teachers while doing that assignment then you can create any kind of academic content you can create math uh, you know uh, story word problems which are really you know difficult to create and take a lot of time so this can be done easily then you can create choice boards i have already talked about choice boards how important they are for making your classroom full, uh, inclusive then math spiral problems can be created vocabulary list youtube video summarizer this is what i was talking about in this you simply have to give the link of youtube video and it will generate questions on it so this is a wonderful tool. Like suppose that you find a very good uh, YouTube video and you would really want your students to view that video and then answer certain questions based on that video. So this can be easily done. So there are various, uh, you know, categories and in every category, there are, you know, a lot of tools. Around 60 plus tools are available in this Magic School website. Then we have questions. Different kind of questions can be easily prepared. You can create MCQs. You can create text-based questions. You can share a text here. Or you can share a PDF also. If you have a PDF, suppose you can share a PDF and you can ask magicschool.ai to generate questions based on that PDF. And then this is GeoParty review. I, I, I hope you have heard about this GeoParty game. It will create, you know, questions on your topic, uh, which will look like a game. So this will really help students to have fun in the classroom. Then text analysis assignment based on certain text or by, based on certain table also, you can generate assignment. And uh, uh, then uh, for SAT questions, you can also prepare SAT reading uh, questions. Uh, this can also be done. Then for, uh, you know, so there are various, uh, you know, uh, categories on which uh, different uh, type of tools are available. You can go through each of these tools. If I keep on explaining these tools, I think the entire time will run away like anything. 
Then we have student support. So again, we have many tools for student support. We can easily create feedback because we have to give feedback on students' work. So you do not have to think now. You can easily create using AI. Then social stories, sentence starters, and you know behavior interventions, questions, uh, suggestions. Suppose some student is creating behavioral problem in the classroom. So what kind of uh, how you can you know what kind of plan you can make to overcome that problem? So this can be easily created. Then we have communication. Communication in in this uh, in this the tools which are available are you can easily ask it to create a uh, write an email for you if you get, want to share an email with your colleagues or your parents. Then text summarizer. Suppose you have a very long text and you want to summarize it for students so that you can you want to give the key points to your students. Then text summarizer can do that job. Then you can easily create feedbacks for your students. Then report card comments can be easily created. So see, there are various tools and we will uh, look at look into these tools one by one. Then text translator is also there. Sometimes you suppose you find you find a you have suppose found a very good text on in English and suppose you want to translate it into your language, you know, your native language. So this can be easily done. So text translator is there. You can easily translate any text into your into the language of your choice. Then proofreader is, is there. Suppose you have written certain text and you want to find out whether the grammar, spellings, punctuation is correct or not. You can this can be easily done. You can easily write thank you note, letter of recommendation, teacher observations. So this can be done very easily using this tool. Then last one is the community tools. So again, you can uh, write down quote of the day, then uh, thank you note, then song generator. You can easily generate songs also. I, I you know, I love this uh, portion also because, you know, I am passionate about music and I use music in my classroom. Then there is a chatbot also. We will talk about this chatbot also. So these are certain, you know, these are 60 plus tools which are available on this single website magic school. Now, let me share with you how you can do, how you can use this. We have learned what all is available on magic school. Now, let us learn how it can be used. So let us go to questions first because, you know, uh, we need to create a lot of assess assignments for our students so that we can help them understand whether they have uh, actually understood the topic or not. So let me start with the multiple choice questions. So when I click on this, a screen will open like this. So here, this is a grade level. So you can select any grade level of your choice. Okay. Then how many questions you want to generate? At present, it is five. You can create maximum 20 questions. Okay. Then this is a paper clip. Using this paper clip, you can upload a PDF also here. Suppose you want to create multiple choice questions from certain PDF. Suppose you have a PDF available. You can upload a PDF also by clicking here. Or if you do not have a PDF, uh, you can directly say on what topic, what, for what, uh, or you can add, add a text also here. And you can ask it to generate multiple cho choice questions based on that text. The beauty of this tool is that examples are also given here. Let me show you one example. Okay, some ready-made examples are also given, which can help you to understand how to use this tool. Okay, so let me go to the example and then you can generate MCQs based on your choice. So let us see this example. See, in this example, they have created for grade seven, five questions and uh, uh, see, they have generated, they haven't added any text uh, uh, for this and see, uh, on, the, uh, on mitosis and meiosis, they have, Uh, what is this? So I, I don't know, sir. Uh, who is asking remote control of your screen? Uh, uh, sir, uh, who is Emily Lake? Excuse me, sir. Please do not do this. Otherwise, I won't be able to explain the tool to you. Who is uh, Emily Lake? Is she here in the uh, participant list? I don't know uh, who is doing this. I'm not able to explain anything in this case. Oh, God. Uh, uh, sir, are you there? Mohedin, sir, are you there? Uh, please don't use, don't do this. I, otherwise I will remove you from the, you know, 
participant list because in this way emily please don't do this okay so you see it has created a complete uh, mcqs it has created five mcqs on the topic mitosis and it has given a key also this is the answer key and what you can do now you can either copy it or you can save it on your uh, hard disk and what all you can do you can export it also you can export it to google doc you can export it to google forms it will directly go to google form so you don't have to even worry about how to copy paste these questions to google form so that time will also be saved or you can directly export it to microsoft form or microsoft word okay so let me show you uh, let me give you one more example of it okay so uh, can you can anyone tell me uh, any topic sir why is this coming again and again i am not able to explain anything to anyone mohiddin sir are you there hello hello dear ma'am sorry sir i don't know why is someone asking me the remote control of my screen it is coming again and again i am not able to explain anything can you see this message james is requesting remote control of your screen i don't know why it is coming Okay, okay, no, no need, no, please, no need to uh, remote control. But it is coming again and again. I'm not see again. It has come. No, no. I cannot go no. further. Okay. Either yeah, you yeah. remove this person from the uh, participant list. Yeah, I just I am uh, I. Uh, I am stopped uh, setting. Uh, uh, yeah, so that no one can send me the request. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so suppose number of questions I want ten. Okay, and uh, does anyone uh, need uh, want to suggest some topic, or I will give the topic of my choice. Anyone wants to suggest any topic? Okay, let let me see photosynthesis. Okay, suppose I want on photosynthesis. Yes, uh, Mr. Ayush, you want to say something? Okay, okay, the, the, uh, just you can continue your presentation and uh, after last time. Uh, okay, after... la, at the end, yes, at the end, I will take the questions, fine. So, uh, photosynthesis and I will press on <coughs> generate. So, it is generating questions on photosynthesis. Let us wait for two minutes. See, it is generating C. It has generated. It is generating ten questions. See, for fifth grade, it has generated ten questions on photosynthesis. See, and along with answer, and I can directly export it to Google Form now. So I am clicking on Google Forms, and like I will click on export. Now Ayush is asking for remote access. What is why it is happening? I don't know. Why some people are disturbing in the meeting? Now it has been exported to my Google form and I will open the form now. See, the complete grid. See, sir, again, this Ayush, I don't know who is this Ayush. Not letting me to present. So you can see the complete Google form has been created automatically. You do not need to do anything now. We can directly go to send and you can share this form with your students. So automatically everything is happening on its own. So it is asking me again and again. I don't know. I'm not able to present. So please remove him from the meeting, I think. Please, Mr. Ayush, please stop doing this. It is really help. Uh, it is really like uh, I'm not able to present my presentation in this way. Please stop this, I, Mr. Ayush. I don't know. So I hope you have understood this tool, Magic School. Uh, this how to create, uh, you know, uh, multiple choice questions. Let me go back and uh, share with you some other tools. So this is a YouTube video, uh, YouTube video questions. Let me share this tool with you.
So in this, what you have to do, you have to, let me show you an example of it. So here you have to share the YouTube video URL. Okay. So one video URL has already been shared and I have to create five questions for grade seven. Okay. And I can create more questions also. And the here question type is also there. You can create free response, true, false or multiple choice. So depending upon your need, you can select the question type. And if I press on generate, see, so it has, uh, you know, created questions, five questions along with answer key. And it is giving me the timestamp also at which time this question was, uh, you know, answered. So uh, this uh, person Ayush is really troubling me a lot. Okay, and in the same manner, you can export this quiz to Google form or Microsoft form or you can copy it in Microsoft Word also or Google Doc. So I hope this, this portion is clear to everyone. Now let me uh, show you some more tools. Uh, so let me show you this uh, Geopardy review game. This is also very interesting. So uh, let me show you the example which is already given here. This example is just to assist teachers to understand the tool. Okay. So the grade level is here sixth, and the topic is stages of mitosis review. Okay. And see. It has created, you know, it has created a complete game on its own. You just give a topic and it will create a Geopardy game. And there are 100 to 500 points. And these are the various phases. For every phase, there are certain questions. Okay. So, uh, so you can see here. So these are the various questions for, you know, each phase. So you can ask your students to answer these questions. And if they are able to answer, you can give them 100 points, 200 points, depending upon what they have answered. Okay. So this is how you can create good games also and make your classrooms more engaging. Okay. Then let us come to content. Let us see what all you can do in content. So let's see math story word problems. So let me share the exemplar here. So in this, uh, uh, we are creating story word problems for seventh grade and number of questions are seven. And the topic is multiplying and dividing fractions. Okay, and the story topic is also you have to enter. And here the story topic is managing money and investing like, like in a stock market game. So you can see here, this is a, just an example. You can create your own uh, according to your own subject and topic. So it has created C7 questions based on money management and investing. And these are the word problems. And these are for uh, uh, multiplying and dividing fractions. Okay, so you can see here. So this can this way you can create uh, uh, math word story problems. Then let me show you some more tools. Uh, uh, what you can do in the content. Uh, you can give your choice also if you really want to uh, check any tool which you really think is might be useful for you. Let me show you the choice board. How you can generate choice board. And again, I'm going to exemplar. You can again, I'm saying you can change the choices and you can get your uh, own whatever you are looking for content. Then here I'm creating a choice board for 7th grade and the topic is the phases of mitosis and diverse kind of activities are required. If you really, that is why I'm creating a choice board. So see, this it has created a choice board in which one for first activity is comic strip, then song or rap, model creation, timeline, mnemonic device, quiz creation, diagram, video presentation, story writing. So they have given various assignment title and now the student can select uh, according to his or her own interest it can select the assignment and he can uh, uh, if if the if the student is interested in you know writing rap song or you know any kind kind of jingle so he will be able to understand the topic more easily because he has interest in writing song so this way we are making our classroom more inclusive because we are providing different options to students according to their choice so when the students they they are given choices, they are able to perform better. 
So that is why this kind of choice boards can be easily incorporated in our teaching learning. And again, uh, you can save this resource. You can copy this once it is made. You can easily or you can export it to Google Doc or Microsoft Word. So you don't have to, you know, worry about how to export it to, uh, you know, Word or Doc. So this can be easily done automatically or either you can take a direct printout of it also. So this can also be done. Okay. And uh, uh, then let us, uh, let me show you some more things which are available here. Uh, YouTube video summarizer I have already shown you and then choice board ho gaya. then uh, uh, let us go to different kind of questions uh, doc questions I will let me show you some doc questions doc uh, what are the different kind of doc questions so again I am going to exemplar so uh, so this is, uh, I'm creating doc, four depth of knowledge levels in this and I'm creating it for seventh grade and the topic is forces and motion. Okay. So the first is recall. So I have given, so it has generated uh, three questions on recall. Then skill and concept. It has created again three questions on skill and concept. And then for strategic thinking, it has created three questions and for extended thinking. So in extended thinking, the child has to create or analyze certain things. So this way, this is according to Bloom's taxonomy also. So in this way, we can, you know, create different levels of questions for our students to help them understand the topic in an easy manner. So this will really help them to, you know, first understand, recall what they have learned, then what skills they have, you know, uh, uh, they have fostered in them using this topic. Then they can think, like they can formulate, they can experiment certain things and then they can apply what they have learned using extended thinking. Okay, so this can easily be done. So this type of questions are there. If you have anything in your mind, you can always please ask me. Then uh, uh, we can create uh, all different kind of whatever. Like see, there's, there's so many things available. Text translator, let me show you text translator. So in this, you have to type any text. Let me show you the example here again. So this is the text in English and they want to uh, translate it to Spanish and see. It has been translated to Spanish. The entire text has been translated to Spanish. So you can select a you know, language of your choice and you can translate from one language to another. Okay, so we have done, I think, a lot of tools from this side. Now let me go to the left panel and see what all is present here. So we have Rana chatbot, which is present here. So you can ask any type of questions. Just you ask chat GPT or Google Bard or Gemini. So any kind of questions can be asked and it has given certain prompts also. So you can use these prompt also uh, to ask questions to Rana chatbot. So uh, if you have any question in your mind, I can always uh, ask Rana to answer that question. Does anyone want to ask any question? Okay. So one, one very important, you know, uh, 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 the... Uh, the, the, the training portion is present here. I just want to talk about it. You know, it is providing a lot of PD resources also, professional development resources. So there are certain certification courses which are present here. The first one is, you know, Magic School AI Level 1 certification course. And the second is again Level 2 and then we have Level 3. And then we have AI Pioneer Program also. So if you really want to, you know, master AI, so you can please go for these certification courses. This will help you to, you know, Build your uh, uh, resume also like if you have some AI certification that will really help you to uh, make it stronger, your resume is stronger. So you can do different kind of certifications and this will help you to understand how you can use AI in your classroom. And then this is the uh, Facebook group of Magic School AI. So you can also, uh, uh, you know, join this Facebook group. Here you will be, uh, you will be connected with, you know, like-minded people those who are using this tool and you will get to know how they are using magic school in their classroom. So you can learn from their examples. And uh, then uh, uh, this is a Google uh, uh, development, the professional development pack. Google form is also there, which you can, we can receive a free PD pack for yourself. And then uh, there are shared resources on Google drive also. So there are so many facilities which have been provided. So you can always, you know, uh, uh, go through them and, I think you can uh, uh, take these certifications and make your uh, resume uh, better. So this is all what is present in Magic School. If you have any queries, uh, you can always ask me.
Uh, so yes, anyone want to say something? Yes, anyone has any question? So I hope this tool is clear to you. How you can use this tool uh, in your classroom. This magic student tab is also present here. It is also coming. Uh, at present, it is for it is it has been made for teachers only, but uh, this is in beta stage and it it will come very soon. So students can also take advantage of this uh, uh, magic tool. So this is all uh, which is present in this tool, and this is the history where you can see what all like uh, uh, chats you have, what all work you have already done. So if you want to see some previous work, you can easily get your previous work from the history section. So, uh, and this is, uh, you know, uh, the, so there are certain uh, things which are present in the pro level. So, you can always upgrade it. If you really want to upgrade your tool, this is also possible. So, this is Magic School is free, but Magic School Plus needs subscription and it is, uh, you know, $8.33 per month. So, if you really want to use um, this special pricing for, you know, Innovators program is also there. So, so you can always, um, uh, you know, subscribe to it and uh, you can always purchase the pro version, plus version. So this is all which is present here. So if you have any queries, you can always ask me. Yes, any query from anyone? Uh, dear uh, dear uh, ma'am, uh, just uh, you have to know uh, today some of the spammer attack uh, uh, more and more time. So I cannot uh, open a camera. I just uh, I cannot give access to unmute. Is, uh, unmute. Uh, yeah, to complete your session, we will give uh, uh to sans for question ask question just people will raise hand i will uh, give to access uh unmute okay so i sir uh, my part is over i have explained everything if they have any question i will i am ready oh, to oh, take them you, uh, okay dear participant if you have any question please raise raise your hand then uh, after raise your hand raise your hand or they can write in the chat chat box that is, I think, uh, better. Sandbox already stopped uh, because uh, uh, some of uh, spammers message. Uh, yeah, yeah. Even I'm seeing uh, like yeah. no, some. I think you see this. Yes, yes, yes. So you can ask me if you have any question. I think this is a wonderful please, tool, please, and please all of hand. you. Please raise your hand. Uh, please raise your hand, and you must try this tool because unless or until you try this tool, you will not be able to understand how to use it. So it is very important to try, give your hand, only then you will be able to understand and it will definitely help you to reduce your workload. And then you will be able to spend more time with your students and to solve their queries. There are so many things which are available like... Uh, Please try each one of them. Only then you will be like in communication also. There are so many things which are available. So keep on trying these things so that uh, Nasri, please you can unmute yourself. Okay, you can ask your question. Uh, uh, thank you, Mohiddin. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, yes, I can hear you. Yeah, uh, thank you for this uh, great presentation. Uh, my question is uh, this: So, to what extent can we trust uh, Magic School Bot 
AI uh, uh, in terms of authenticity and um, uh, in terms of reliability? See, this is again an AI and in all the AI tools, whatever content they are generating, you need to check it first before sharing it with your students. Because again, this is a machine generated output. So 90% of times it is correct, but 10% it may produce some information which might not be correct. So it is very important that whatever information it is producing, you first go through that information before sharing it with your students. Otherwise, the tool is very reliable. You cannot say that it is not reliable. But again, this is a machine generated output. So you need to check it before sharing with it with your students. I hope uh, I've answered your question. Okay, okay, you can, uh, anyone can uh, ask a question, please, please raise your hand. If you have not any question, we can close our today's session. Dear ma'am, please, uh, I think, uh, okay, okay, some uh, one raise the hand. Saba Ishar, please, you can unmute yourself, okay. Assalamualaikum, sir. I want to ask that, yeah, I want to ask that uh, AI, uh, can we use AI for um, chat GPT app? M me? Artificial chat GPT is a advanced app for artificial AI. So AI can also be used for chat GPT app. Yes, ma'am. You can use chat GPT also, but chat GPT sure. does not have all these options. Using chat sure. GPT, you can create questions, MCQs you can create, but you cannot export them to Google form or Microsoft form. So this is the problem. In that case, you have to copy each and every question to your Google form. But here, the advantage is that once you create the MCQs or any quiz or any assessment, you can directly transfer it to Google form or Microsoft form. So you do not need to do even that much effort. Your effort will be reduced. So how we can make lesson plan on chat GPT app? You want to? You want me to explain chat GPT app? Yes, yes, because our teacher has given uh, lesson plan uh, to make chat G lesson plan on chat GPT app. Can you please? Uh... Yeah, yeah, let me show you. So Thank I have written chat GPT.com. So I have already logged in. See, so if you want to create a lesson plan, so you have to give create a lesson plan you have to give a topic on which topic you want to create ma'am science topic which topic ma'am okay let me science give it on topic photo. okay photo science topic ma'am topic i want on to greenhouse effect greenhouse green effect, effect and global warming okay and global house. warming And global warming. For which class, ma'am? For class? Class 5. Class For 5. Class 5. Uh, do you have any curriculum, like any syllabus name also? According to which curriculum? Um, yeah, our, our curriculum, miss. Pakistan, I'm from Pakistan, According primary to level. Pakistan curriculum. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. yes. Okay, ma'am. So I've given it all the instructions. See, it is generating. Just have to write down, give all the details to chat GPT so that it can create a good response for you. See, it has created the entire lesson plan. It has given the uh, title first. Then it is for grade 5. Subject is science. Duration 45 minutes. It has given objectives. What materials are required. Then it has given introduction for 10 minutes. 
Then main lesson 20 minutes. So it is very easy. You just have to give a good prompt. See, I've given a prompt. Create a lesson plan on greenhouse effect and global warming for class 5 according to Pakistan curriculum. So it has given then activities also. What activities you can perform in your classroom. Then conclusion and then assessment also. So it has generated the entire uh, lesson plan. You can click on this button to copy it. See, now it is copied oh. and you can paste it in, in the Word document. Okay, so what is the difference between lesson plan and worksheet? Ma'am, lesson plan is just the planning of lesson, how to teach a particular lesson in the classroom. Worksheet is for I assessment, see. assignment or assessment to assess the understanding so, of a student. So we will go in the chat box of chat GPT, then we will write to make a lesson plan. It is your wish, ma'am. There are so many tools available. You can choose the tool of your choice. Chat GPT is also doing, Magic School is also doing, whatever tool you like, you can use that tool. Every tool has so, their own advantage. How we, how we will uh, tell a command to Chat GPT to help us? I'm asking this. Questions? You want, to make a, you want to make assignment in Chat yeah, GPT? Yeah, we, we, I'm saying we have to make a lesson plan. So, how we, yes. we will go in the chat and we will make it? Means we will I have message to Chat GPT. Ma'am, this is what I have shown you. This is chat GPT only. You can see here. This is chat GPT. In the chat, I have given this. I have given this uh, oh, wow. prompt. Create a lesson plan on greenhouse effect and global warming. For which class? You have to give the class here. And according to which curriculum? So if you give this, uh, you know, prompt here, it will generate the lesson plan automatically. Uh, okay, okay. In just like Facebook and LinkedIn, we do chatting. Yes. So we... Okay. Yeah, yeah, you simply have to chat. You simply have to chat and give it as much information as you can give so that it will pre provide the good response. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you. Yes, sir. Even uh, Moizul, sir, also wants to ask something. Yeah, Moizul, please, you can unmute yourself now. Okay. Yeah, I have unmuted myself. Assalamu alaikum. I am from Bangladesh. Okay, sir. I want to. I am from Bangladesh. Okay, sir. Okay. I want to ask a question that how it will be for, uh, effective for our language club. Basically, I am a language teacher. Okay. So, sir, it is very effective. Uh, I have shown you a, a many tools in Magic School which you can use as a language teacher. See, you can create yeah. vocabulary questions. Then you can use this video youtube video summarizer okay. uh, in which you can show the video to your students and they will summarize it and you can also summarize it using this you can create vocabulary list using it it will automatically create vocabulary list for you then okay. you can also create questions again sir multiple choice questions youtube video questions and text dependent okay. questions any type of assignment you can easily create using this tool but here i have another question that uh, in the app or in the website i have registered here already but they okay. show showed me that your trial uh, this is a trial limit for march 6 2024 my, I, my question is that after uh, expiring my trial period will it be closed i don't think so because i am not getting this magic school i am not getting this trial it see i i have already shown you that you know yeah. Uh, that uh, this plan is free for you know let me show you where is that page see it is free to certain yeah. extent see this is it is absolutely free you don't have this is not a trial version it is absolutely free and the plus okay, version they, for plus but, version but you have to pay a message. But you have got this me message. message yeah a, uh, after we were few minutes ago I don't think I so, sir. Great, it, uh, it will remain free, I think. It okay, is not a trial okay. version. It, it is free. It is absolutely free. See, it has written. It is absolutely free for educators. Mm -hmm. But if you want to go for okay, plus version, I, then you have but to if subscribe. I face some, okay, if, if I face some problems using it, I will contact you next time. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Definitely, sir. Thank you. So this is a wonderful tool. I think everyone should use this tool and uh, get benefited by it. Yes, any other question from any other any other uh, participant?
okay uh, i think there is not any question okay we can we can uh and now sava is a reader's hand again yes sava any question again yeah uh, uh, magic school uh, it is a uh, 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 ai tool yes ma'am it is an ai tool okay excuse me ma'am i am a student so please i okay <laughs> don't <laughs> never mind me, <laughs> never mind <laughs> <laughs> okay okay fine i'm just i'm just a student and teacher also it uh, uh, it's your wish you can call me ma'am and i'm asking that magic school what is this website for used for it is used for generating you know uh, content for teachers they can create questions they can create lesson plans and they can create you know they can write down email for their parents or colleagues whatever they want to do there are so many options available so teachers can use okay. this it's saying okay okay well, uh, i made chat gpt lesson plan so we will uh, copy and paste on ms word yes yes you can paste it on ms thank you so much thank you so much for helping me helping me and uh, and chat gpt and chat bot and bing chat gpt these three all one apps or uh, different apps Man, they are different. Bing is different. Chat GPT is different. They are all different. <laughs> so you can use all. You can use all of them because they have. They give you different kind of questions. So you can select the one which you find the best. Um, and I am Bing for Chat GPT app. It's a second advanced form for for Chat GPT. Bing. 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 Bing for Chat AI. GB, it's a new app. It's coming. Yeah, see, new apps are up, uh, coming every day. So you can try the, you can try all the apps as a as if you are a you know, teenager girl, I don't know, or a college girl, you can try as many tools as you want. Ma'am, I am a master student now. Do you? Okay. <laughs> okay. So, so you can try different tools and whatever tool you like best, you can use that. Okay, thank. You. Yeah, 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 and uh, carb. If we are making a lesson plan on carbon cycle or nitrogen cycle, uh, in which uh, science it is in science topic is included? Yes, every science topic is included in that. No, no, no. Uh, we have studies carbon cycle and nitrogen cycle. It is included in air pollution topic. Ma'am, I am not a science teacher. I am a uh, computer science. Please don't okay. ask me science questions. So and uh, chat and three online courses are also available on Chat GPT. No, no, online courses are not available. That for that you have to go to Coursera or you know some other website. Right. Okay, thank okay, you. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Mumin, uh, dear Mumin sir, please you can unmute yourself. Okay. Mumin Mia, please. You can unmute now, please. Okay. Okay. Uh, can you hear hear me? Excuse me. Yes. 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 We can hear you. Okay. Uh, okay. I I have uh, joined later. Uh, so I have a question. Uh, actually, uh, what is the use of ma magic school and is it apps? See, these are used for to help teachers to create assignments. Yes. to create lesson plans whatever you want to do whatever work you want to do there are okay, certain how can, categories how can i get how, how can i get this apps this tool yes yes uh, from where i can get this tool you you just you just write down on you know a google chrome or any other uh, magic school ai and you will get a website the very first option you are just click on it and then this website will open you need to sign in first and then this will be opened okay is it uh, useful in computer or mobile phone yes yes both okay uh, is it appropriate for editing video in our content no it is not a video editing tool 
it is an ai tool it is not for video editing it is just for you know content generation you can generate content you can generate you know questions assignments for your students you can write them email it is for that only it is not for video editing okay thank you yeah next uh, cp cp dungel please unmute yourself you can unmute now okay uh, good evening everybody i am from nepal okay sir good evening and my question is that last time mr uh, our dr navin uh, maybe, uh, maybe three months ago he gave one uh, presentations to us that uh, there was a issue of the ai tools to use in the classroom and and that was a co-pilot maybe co-pilot was the topic uh, that was the software mm -hmm. and we uh, we got some information but while using that co-pilot in our uh, computer in our mobile or computer uh, that was a really a, a little bit problem problematic to use in our everyday um, teaching material to make to prepare teaching materials for every day and that was a little bit complicated for for me uh, whether I uh, because of me or what I don't know but this magic school I got really uh, fantastic that ideas that was informative and that was very much useful to us thank you so much sir. and thank the you, problem sir. is uh, my question is that this magic school can yes. we use this magic school in, a, in android mobile phone or only in the laptop See, it is more useful in laptop, but you can use it in mobile phone also. Mobile, uh, can we get all the facilities if we use mobile phone? Uh, sir, I haven't, I haven't tried it on mobile, uh, so I don't know at present. But yes, you can try on mobile. I, let me, I haven't tried it, sir. Uh, Please try and then only we can find out whether it is useful in mobile or not. If, if, if it, it will be useful in the mobile phone, uh, that means Android mobile or other mobile. That will be much beneficial yeah, for the teachers. Yeah, it will be much beneficial. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So I think so, it, this site is opening in um, phone also. It is opening. Yeah. Yes, you can see yeah. here. I don't know it is. Yeah, I'm, so I'm, I'm able to open it. it in mobile also. Yeah. Thank you very much, ma'am. Uh, this is new information that I'm getting and we are getting. We are getting advantage and uh, we sure that your idea will be applicable throughout the world. Because Thank we you, are sir. connecting from different part of the world, Thank and uh, we are uh, dedicated to apply that to give something new. To so the it students. is open. See, it is open. I have opened it in my, in my mobile, and it is opened. I don't know yeah. whether it is you are able to see it or not, but it is open in my mobile. You can use it. Okay, in I will mobile. also try. Okay, sir. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Now, Manuela Martin, please unmute yourself now. This is last. Last question, last chance. Okay. After this, we close. Can I, can I talk? Yes, yes, yes. yes ma'am. Yes. yes. Okay. I'm from from Portugal. I use already the magic um, this um, app in my kindergarten teacher, and also the copilot, uh, like the other colleagues speak uh, before okay. me. But uh, there is another thing that um, it's. It's not good. All that um, apps, we must pay. If we want to, um, to get them uh, for a whole year in the classroom, we can do that because uh, we must play, uh, pay to, to be there, to have a, a license. Also the copy slot and this one, the magical school. I, I don't think you need to pay for it because some portion of it is already free for teachers. And if you go, if you really want to go for, you know, advanced magic school. Uh, advanced, uh, yes. So, yeah, that is paid. So, don't go for advanced. There are so many features in the yes, free portion. The advanced is paid? Yes. So, don't go for that portion. Uh, and the, the development professional, can I, uh, all, is already pay, is also paid? No, 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 it is not paid. No, no, no? it is not paid. Okay. No. It, is, it is absolutely free. So you can go for these courses. These are really good courses and this will help you to build your, you know, PD. Okay. You can go for I'm these going courses. To, I'm going to explore more. And it's, yes, please better, explore. it's better than Copilot because Copilot, we must pay. We have, we have just five, 
five uh, uh, ways to do something and explore, but then we must play. Uh, pay, pay, pay. Okay. And the magic, I was exploring that already. Uh, and I thought it was also paid, but it's just in advance. It, yes, right? yes. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful, beautiful and creative presentation. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, dear ma'am, thank you uh, for uh, your uh, great presentation and about uh, artificial intelligence. Uh, we have uh, learned more about from you as artificial intelligence. Just now, this is time to our uh, end of our previous session. So, okay, can I end, please? Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much.